Hello, my name is Anthony Nagel, and I'm a product specialist with IBA Dosimetry. Today we'll talk about the unique hardware and software features of SmartScan that provide automation and peace of mind. We'll also discuss some feedback provided by SmartScan users. Commissioning data errors can happen easily and do happen often according to several studies and publications. SmartScan is a hardware and software solution that is designed to always give you the best possible, error-free commissioning data. What if you could commission your machine faster and with the peace of mind that your scanning software is checking the quality of your scans in real time? SmartScan is a two-part solution comprised of the SmartScan Water Phantom and SmartScan software. The SmartScan hardware is the result of developments built on the well-known Wellhofer and Blue Phantom line of water phantoms. SmartScan benefits from all those features, but additionally offers automation that saves time and helps ensure the quality of the scanning process. The Stealth Reference Chamber saves time by removing the need for frequent chamber repositioning and provides an excellent reproducible signal quality even for SRS and SBRT fields. The SmartScan hardware was designed with an integrated handle for easy lifting, a four-point micro-leveling frame for sub-millimeter alignment without the need to move the filled Phantom, and a slanted bottom and quick reservoir coupling that enables tank filling or draining in six minutes. The tank mechanics include the same contactless magnetostrictive sensors that provide certified detector repositioning accuracy of plus or minus 0.1 millimeters that you're already familiar with from the Blue Phantom 2. Finally, the SmartScan lift cart has large wheels attached to seamlessly extendable telescopic legs which make the tank setup and storage more convenient. The SmartScan software is an add-on for MyQA Accept that guides the user through the scanning process to ensure results are noise-free and within defined tolerances. And we'll get into many of these details in the coming slides. While the SmartScan hardware physically performs the measurements, the software is the brains of the system. The SmartScan software has been designed to accomplish the goal of automating as many tasks as possible in the scanning process. This means when you're taking measurements with SmartScan, it's always there to guide you through the process and provide an analysis on your measurements. When there are suspicious or failing results, SmartScan will prompt you with helpful advice on how the problem may be resolved. Setup begins with the stealth reference chamber that mounts to the LINAC head or the top of the water phantom in seconds. From the time you wheel the water phantom into the room, setup can be finished in about 12 minutes. Tank leveling is accomplished with the use of leveling pins located in each corner of the tank. The user adjusts the corresponding mechanics leveling screw until the pin just breaks the water meniscus. Field and reference detectors are connected to the connector box mounted on the side of the tank, eliminating the need to run long cables. Once the Phantom is set up, the next step is to load the scan queue. When using SmartScan, the proper configuration of details such as scan speed and adaptive step spacing can save time and help ensure noise-free scans. The order of scans is optimized to minimize room entries or machine settings changes. SmartScan software does all of this automatically. Once the queue is optimized, SmartScan also provides an estimated time to complete all the measurements. Before starting your scan queue, SmartScan will perform a few baseline measurements. These measurements will establish the proper number of monitor units to be requested for the scans in your queue by checking the dose rate and performing background measurements. The central axis check will report either a passing or warning status based on the tolerances defined by the user. A central axis check can fail either due to shift or angle deviations. Angle deviations need to be corrected mechanically, but the user can choose to allow the software to correct isocenter for shift deviations.
Real-time analysis starts with predefined analysis protocols. These protocols are selected on the confirmation page, which appears as you first enter SmartScan. The details of the protocols are defined in the Analysis Parameters area of Common Settings. Once defined, you can view the details of a protocol by hovering over the icon shown next to the name of the protocol on the confirmation page. In this case, we're looking at a protocol for photon depth dose. If a protocol is selected for use with SmartScan that contains at least one expected value and tolerance that is not defined, a yellow caution symbol will appear next to that name. Otherwise, a blue information icon will be shown. The user can hover on that icon to show a tooltip containing the details of that analysis protocol. Let's talk through an example of how SmartScan automatically ensures the quality of your data. Imagine you're a junior physicist setting up your SmartScan system to perform annual machine QA. You install the SmartScan water phantom, connect your chambers, fill the tank with water, and level the mechanics using the quick leveling pins and adjustment screws. Back in the treatment control room, you open MyQA Accept and import the annual QA queue. After connecting to the CCU, you launch the SmartScan module, confirm the desired chambers and protocols to use, and move on to baseline measurements. Background and dose rate checks are successful. SmartScan reports the central axis check is off by 1.3 millimeters in cross line and 0.9 millimeters in the inline direction. SmartScan prompts you that you can either physically correct this or it can apply the offset for you. You decide to apply an offset and continue to the preliminary scans. The preliminary scans are an optional but recommended step designed to check the impact of scattered radiation on the CCU, ion chamber leakage current, and cable integrity. The overall smart scan performance and quality outcome is not minimized if the user elects to skip the preliminary scans as any suspicious results will still be flagged when they're measured in the queue. Here we highlighted two different checks which SmartScan uses to help ensure the quality of your beam data automatically. On the Setup Measurement Groups page, SmartScan will order the scan queue so that equipment settings and detector changes are minimized. This saves you from dozens of trips into the Linac Vault to change or reposition the reference detector. But in the cases where changes are needed, SmartScan provides peace of mind by prompting the user to make the needed adjustments. A new background measurement is needed after a change in either the reference or field detectors. Normalization will be reperformed following a change in radiation type, field size, or when moving to the next measurement group. Dose rate measurements are performed after changing radiation types, energies, or reference detectors and a central axis check is performed when there is a change to the source-to-surface distance. I'd like to demonstrate a realistic scenario where SmartScan is providing peace of mind in real time. On the left, we can see a series of scans which are taken at the start of a long queue of measurements. After 90 minutes of scanning, the user notices that the SmartScan system has halted the scan queue after recording three scans as failing due to excessive noise. These scans can be seen on the right. A user investigates by repeating some previously completed scans and observes that they are now noisy as well. Fortunately, another chamber was available and after swapping the chamber, the noise was gone. The root cause of the error was an old and slightly porous chamber that had a rising leakage current as humidity started entering the chamber. If SmartScan did not halt the queue, then it's possible the noise would not be observed until after data collection is complete. That would either result in the user applying some smoothing to the data or remeasuring the offending scans. Because SmartScan is checking each measurement in real time, you can have the peace of mind that you won't lose significant time repeating measurements or processing data. As the previous example illustrated, SmartScan will halt the scan queue when three consecutive measurements are suspicious or out of tolerance. 
This should prompt the user to investigate possible causes for the failing or suspicious results. The user can select to either delete and remeasure, or keep and remeasure desired fields, or to simply continue the queue from where it stopped. The user can hover over the field details of a completed scan and a tooltip will appear with post-scan validation results. The analysis performed will be consistent with the analysis protocol defined on the confirmations page. When all scans are completed, or whenever the user desires, the summary report can be viewed. Here you can see at a glance the number of scans which were measured with either successful or unsuccessful results. A history of baseline measurements performed with the scan queue is also recorded, with numerical values being reported for failing central access checks. In addition to my own comments on SmartScan, I'd like to share the comments and evaluations from some of our existing clinical SmartScan users. Jacqueline Marcel gave a presentation during AAPM 2018 at the IBA booth titled, The UPIN Experience with SmartScan Automated and Guided Beam Commissioning. You can find the full presentation on the IBA Dissymmetry YouTube channel, at the link shown on the screen, or by scanning the QR code. Rather than restate everything Jacqueline says in her presentation, I'll share just her conclusions of the system with you here. She noted that the SmartScan software provided a simplified and automated workflow that was particularly helpful to physicists that maybe only use a water phantom annually. Another nice feature that Jacqueline identified is the queue sorting and optimization capabilities of SmartScan. With this feature, she was able to use a department-wide standard measurement queue containing all energies present in at least one machine in their department. SmartScan would only queue up the energies applicable to the machine which you are currently scanning on. I'm also happy to share with you some tests which were conducted with the SmartScan system by the Bristol Oncology Center. They wanted to see what would happen when they introduced deliberate errors into their workflow. Their results were published in an article which you can download by going to the link shown on the screen or by scanning the QR code. The article can also be downloaded on the SmartScan product page on the IBA Dissymmetry website. They were also kind enough to share some slides and their experiences, and we'll talk through those slides now. Their first test was to perform a central axis check at the wrong isocenter. Their slides didn't indicate the size of deviation, but SmartScan automatically detected a deviation of 1 mm inline and 1.4 mm crossline. They also performed a central axis check with a gantry angle deviation of 0 0.8 degrees. SmartScan automatically detected an error of 0 0.6 mm crossline deviation and 0 0.75 degrees crossline angle deviation. Next, the central axis check was performed with a 2 mm short field in the inline direction to simulate a poor jaw calibration. SmartScan automatically detected a 0 0.8 mm inline deviation as well as inline and crossline angle warnings. Another central axis check was performed with the field offset by 2 mm to again simulate a poor jaw calibration which was observed in the inline direction with the 2.1 mm deviation. Finally, the central axis check was performed with an accidental collimator twist of 1.6 degrees. SmartScan automatically detected the resulting crossline deviation of 0.3 mm as well as the 0.12 degree crossline angle warning. Intentional errors were also inserted into their scan queue. Here you can see the results of an incorrect energy being used. The resulting scan violated every protocol threshold they were using and was flagged as suspicious by SmartScan. Here we can see using the wrong FSD resulted in a failing R100. And we can also see the results of accidentally using a wedge. 
Overall, I think it's fair to say that the SmartScan experience was a positive one for the Bristol Oncology Center. They saw a huge time-saving potential in the form of device and detector setup, as well as in evaluating Linac Health prior to scanning. They also found that SmartScan produced good quality, noise-free data that was consistent and accurate. The automatic performance of background checks, normalizations, and checks performed after setup changes were thought to help prevent errors from being introduced. Next, I'll take just a minute to summarize the advantages SmartScan offers when performing annual QA. SmartScan guides and automates the complete annual QA scanning and analysis workflow. This automation makes the annual QA scanning, as well as any additional water phantom scanning throughout the year, easy and fast. This is the case even for users that are not very familiar with the scanning system or the required workflow steps for the annual QA. Because of the ease of use and efficiency of SmartScan, it can be used more frequently than just the initial Linac commissioning. SmartScan software enables the immediate comparison and verification of each scan. Users get an instant confirmation of the accuracy of their scans and their machine during the annual QA scanning workflow, eliminating the need for data evaluation after scanning. SmartScan is designed to always produce the best possible scan data. This is achieved through user guidance, automation, and continuous checks of the measured scans. The quality of the annual QA is also superior to the use of 2D detectors for annual QA measurements. Compared to 2D detectors, SmartScan allows the user to validate depth dose measurements, which are a key data point for verifying the LINAC during the annual QA. The last feature I want to mention about the SmartScan solution is regarding workflow standardization. The software will ensure that the same detectors are used for the same fields and that the background and normalization are performed the same way each time, regardless of the user. This can help to minimize potential errors due to differences in workflow. If you're an existing IBA water tank customer interested in upgrading, we have a few different paths to get to SmartScan. Users of the Blue Phantom 1 will need a hardware upgrade as that tank isn't compatible with the SmartScan software. It's also worth pointing out that the Blue Phantom 1 will enter end of life in 2020, necessitating a transition to new hardware at that point. Users of the Blue Phantom 2 are able to upgrade to the SmartScan software, which is compatible with the Blue Phantom 2 tank and even upgrade the existing hardware with the addition of leveling pins and the SmartScan lift table and water reservoir if desired. I'd also like to quickly mention that the SmartScan solution can be used to independently validate the Halcyon and Ethos machines for commissioning and annual QA. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to either me via email or your IBA Dissymmetry Area Sales Manager.